Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 27 of my Total Terraria World Annihilation. Um, so, that laptop, um, the one that died on me two weeks before Black Friday, um, I actually feel very lucky that it chose to die exactly when it did. Um, I was certainly seeing warning signs um, in the couple of days prior, and I luckily had enough foresight to email myself uh, some critical documents. Um, I um, had a class that uh, was, you needed to do uh, two 15-page papers, and we were a couple of weeks from being done with the second paper, and so I was able to get uh, all of my um, work f up to that point, and my um, PDFs of all of my uh, sources that I cite, and um, the, uh, the results of my data, and all that good stuff, all uh, all backed up um, right before it died. Um, the hard drive didn't fail, so I could have just used a SATA to USB converter to uh, get all that data, but I didn't have one of those yet. I actually picked one of those up um, when I picked up my lap, my new laptop, the present laptop from Black Friday. So. That probably would have still worked out, now that I think about it, because I want to say the paper was due the week after, or the, uh, the Friday after uh, Black Friday, um, and I was pretty much done. Like, I think I ultimately turned it in several days before the early bird special, even. This professor gave like an extra 5% extra credit if you turned it in like three days before it was supposed to be due. And I'm turning in like five days before it was due. Um, but in any case, it at least gave me some good peace of mind because I would have really gone nuts if, uh, if I didn't have access to all that stuff. And that worked out really nicely because that, that Toshiba was terrible. Um, it was obsolete when I got it. And so it never really ran games very well. I mean, I did it, but it was a struggle. Um, like. With the lowest settings possible, and just having the one race that was going to be actively used on it, I can have basically one EverQuest character play terribly on it. So, um, in the years where we actually tried to play EverQuest on that computer, this uh, this computer was kind of reserved to just be like the cleric or something where all you need is one button and just sit on a horse somewhere in the middle of nowhere and it's all going to be good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in the OT8 run or not, but uh, I did have several EverQuest phases. Um, yeah, it's nice now that it's free to play. Um, I can kind of just jump in and out whenever I want. Although those heroic characters kind of ruined it. Uh, they totally messed up my um, AA system. Um, 
and if I wanted to fix the AA system up and basically get myself out of that hole, it would cost like $35 a character to repair, and that just doesn't make sense. Uh, so, probably I just uh, gave the King Salmon Salute and moved on. Although it's also funny because uh, since I left, they actually made it uh, easier to do like AFK farming. You don't even need to bot anymore uh, since Daybreak Games bought them out. Um, or I guess uh, Sony Online Entertainment uh, sold EverQuest. Or that branch of Sony just dissolved completely and Daybreak took all of the assets from that. Uh, but they added this like uh, auto loot system where basically when something dies and you were the one who should get credit for experience for it and would have looting rights, um, you can just automatically whitelist and blacklist uh, items to be looted automatically. And so now you don't even need a uh, elaborate bot to um, loot your stuff. Um, you just need to predefine what you want looted and just have a character with like a pet um, that overpowers the stuff. Um, just stand next to the spawn points of a kill on sight monster and then the pet kills it and you get the auto loots. Uh, pretty straightforward. Remember, it was really funny too because uh, I let someone just do that for a while and um, eventually someone was annoyed that I was always in that same spot and never responded to them so they accused me of botting and uh, it was funny because um, it, the game master came over like a half hour before I woke up and um, basically intentionally got my, me killed with uh, like the hardest uh, mob in the zone. Just He just spawned him there, uh, right where I was, and let me get killed by it. After, you know, some, you have been accused of botting, uh, say something in your defense, or something like that. And so, I had to uh, reply after the fact, saying, Hey, this isn't botting. I'm using uh, the features inside your system. Yeah. So I just had to prove my innocence like that. But I did stop doing that. So maybe at some point I'll start again or find a spot that's slightly less popular. I mean, that spot used to be extremely popular 10, 15 years ago. But um, nobody has any business going there anymore, uh, except for the nostalgia factor. They nerfed how many diamonds the Night Stalkers have in Plane of Nightmare eons ago, um, and so it's kind of a joke that anybody even enters that zone for anything but like uh, Shadow Knight Epic 1.5s or something like that, and that has nothing to do with the Night Stalkers. Oh, I bet it was a beast lord that uh, ratted me out, because uh, the disturbed beast essence is part of the um, beast lord 1.5. Well, in any case, that about does it for this video. I will see you next video.